Hey everyone, this is Walter from Tilta, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate the knob on the right side and left side handle of your Nucleus M system. So let's say you run into the situation where you're turning your knob and the lens seems to jump from one end of the focal range to the other end of the focal range. So you're turning the knob, it seems to jump back and forth. If you look at your indicator on the Nucleus M handle right there on the front, you can see that it, uh, as we reach triple uh, zero, it just seems to jump back to 999. And uh, if you move back and forth between it and it keeps jumping, this might mean that you need to calibrate the knob on your Nucleus M handle. So let's go into the menu system and figure out how that works. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put the range switch down and we're gonna go into the menu system by double clicking the menu button. From here, we're gonna look for the information tab. We're gonna double click menu to go in. Here we have the information tab. Uh, here, you're gonna hold down the down button and press menu. That gives us the calibration menu. So first thing we're gonna do is double click down to proceed. Here, it's gonna ask you to calibrate to your minimum. So you're gonna turn the knob clockwise towards you until it reaches its end point. And now you're gonna double click to proceed. And next, you're gonna find the maximum range by turning the knob counterclockwise away from you. And you're gonna double click to proceed. Now it's gonna ask you for the A range. Here, you're gonna first turn the knob clockwise towards you. And then you're going to put the range switch up. Now from here, you're gonna turn it counterclockwise away from you until it reaches its end point and double click to proceed. Now it's gonna ask you for the B range. We're gonna go to the range switch, go down. You're going to turn the knob counterclockwise away from you until you hit the end point. Put the range switch up to set your B. And now you're gonna turn the knob clockwise towards you until you hit uh, the end point. And you're gonna double click down to proceed. Now it's asking you to flip this switch uh, for the range down and only the switch down. Double click to proceed. Now you're going to put the range switch up and you're going to double click to proceed. Okay, now we're going to double click to save. And that's it. You should have your knob calibrated. We're going to go from either end of the knob, making sure our endpoints are accurate. You can also look at the display here and as you're moving between your two endpoints, you're going to make sure that it reaches 999 on one end and triple zero on the other end. Let's recreate the problem on the left side handle and let's go through the steps to calibrate the knob. Okay, so now we have the same situation happening on our left side handle. Uh, so let's go into the menu system to calibrate. So again, go into menu by double clicking, look for the information tab and double click to go in. Here on this page, you're going to hold the down button, press menu, that gives us the calibration menu. And now we're gonna double click to proceed into our calibration. So before we do anything, let's just make sure that range switch is set to the down position. And let's calibrate our minimum. So let's turn it clockwise away from us. Double click to proceed. Gonna calibrate the maximum range. We're gonna turn it counterclockwise towards us. Once you reach that end, double click to proceed. We're gonna go to the A range, so let's first Turn the knob clockwise away from us to set our end. Flip this range switch up to set our A position, and now we're going to turn it counterclockwise towards us and double click to proceed. We're gonna set the B range. So first thing we're gonna do is flip the range switch down, turn the knob towards us, and then flip the range switch up to set our B position. Now we're going to turn the knob clockwise away from us and double click to proceed. You're gonna set the range key down and adjust the range key. Double click to proceed. Range key up, so let's flip that up. And double click to proceed. And you're gonna double click to save. And here you can see that one endpoint is triple zero, the other endpoint reaches 999. And that's it, that's how to calibrate the left side and right side handle on the Nucleus M system. This has been Walter from Tilta and thanks for watching.